My heart went... I'm broke as shit. I am gay. I've had some kinky sex. I have tried drugs. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is scheduled for one unboxing. Introducing to you today, your host for Wrestling With Beauty, the broke beauty guru, Lexa Rose. Okay, so today's unboxing is brought to you by BoxyCharm. No, I'm not sponsored, but I could be. Anyways, so I got my February BoxyCharm. Now, I had a bit of a snafu with the December BoxyCharm, so I was a little upset, and that's why you don't see a January BoxyCharm. Long story short, I paid for a premium. It never shipped, never came to me. I put dozens of inquiries to BoxyCharm, and at the end of the day, they got me my premium box for free, no charge. And believe it or not, I was just really, really happy that they came through. I mean, at first I didn't think it was possible because they had said, oh yeah, we'll, you know, refund you the premium. We'll send your premium anyways. And then I said, I still haven't heard anything. And they said, oh, well, it's sold out. And of course I did my little angry typing and they said, we apologize. We promised you the December box. Bitch, here's your December box. So, got a couple of nice little things, and I was happy about it. Of course, I got the Storybook Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes, which um, I have yet to try. But, um, let's see what this box comes with. We're just going to go right into my handy-dandy Michael Kors pocketbook. And we're just going to pull out my handy-dandy knife. Um, I always keep one handy. I am a young latino woman use it for my unboxing so there we go so now that we've got that open let's see what's inside <gasps> bum, bum, bum. i love how they've kind of up um kind of upgraded their boxes so now it's like it's got their you know social media handles their hashtags box colorful the base boxes which these are considered have the red lining premiums have the uh i guess you could call it baby blue lining so that's that now what we have here of course it didn't come with any eyeshadow palettes which is fine i mean i did you see my last video did you see my last video did you pay attention home home Boom, bitch. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I not finished. Hold on, hold on. Bam! Came with the Jeffree Star Valentine's box. And of course, as you can tell, it's already been used. I've been doing a lot of pretty natural looks. This, I think, is a very nudish kind of palette, along with Conspiracy and Blood Sugar. I feel like they're very nude-friendly palettes where you can just do natural looks, so... Uh, I really don't care that I didn't get one on this one, but I got some nice stuff here. Let's start with the Touch and Soul, which I'm actually happy with their products. I had the uh, No Pore Bloom uh, Pore Primer. Then I got the Liquid One that came in another box. And I think there was one other item that um, I got from Touch and Soul, but their products are really good. They don't make me break out. I don't have any allergic reactions to them, so they're obviously really, really good. This is the one that Elle got in one of our last unboxings. It is the Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. Um, this is where she kind of went on to say that it fit her pores properly. She didn't sweat or anything like that. And of course, comes, you know, 
sealed. And this is where I was complaining about how the lid <laughs> is like so massive and whatnot. So yeah, hopefully I get to try this out tomorrow because tomorrow is Valentine's Day and I want to look my best. I know I look a little because the weather's been really shitty and, you know, I've been kind of, it's been rough trying to push through school. Excited to try and use that filter. Uh, next, we've got the facial radiance pads. Help it fo exfoliate, tone, and brighten. This is from First Aid Beauty. Um, they've had some pretty nice, I've gotten some samples from Ulta. And their facial serums and face creams and whatnot. And I've never broken out. Another good brand that I'm really happy with. Uh, let's kind of take a, once again, sealed. Look at that. Look at that. I like that. That's the one thing I like about BoxyCharm. They'll never give you stuff that's not sealed. It's always pretty much, you know, very, very, they're very, very sanitary, um, which I appreciate because, you know, you don't want to catch the coronavirus or anything like that. I drink Budweiser's. Moving on. We got the Kate Somerville Skin Health Experts uh, Biomimicking Peptide Smooth and Firm Serum. And let's just kind of take a, ooh, ooh, okay. How to use AM and PM. Apply one to two drops to cleanse skin. Use alone with other K active concentrates or layer with serum or moisturizer. Okay. This is what the bottle looks like out of the box. I don't know if you can see it. Very, very nice component. Very heavy, I noticed. Very, very heavy. That's what the fluid looks like. Uh, can't wait to actually try this. Um, I'm always trying new things on my face. I don't like my face to get adjusted to certain products because then once your face gets adjusted, it builds kind of an immunity and then the products don't work as well as they're supposed to. So love that. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. Next one is Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. Another primer. Energize and rescue with aloe, coconut water, and probiotics. Application, smooth into clean, dry skin alone uh, or before makeup application. So you can just wear this without or you can wear it with makeup. Very nice stuff. Pure is another one that I've actually been dying to use. I don't know if they've put any of their products in other boxy charms. May have, may not have. I'd have to check. But again, sealed for your protection. I don't know if you can see that. Boom, boom. So, uh, one thing I gotta say, BoxyCharm, you always supply products that are mostly undamaged. I mean, if, obviously, if it's eyeshadows and, you know, um, blushes, highlighters, of course, shit happens. But they always have them, you know, wrapped up really nicely. So, I'm a little happy with that. Uh, the last thing that I got are the Alamar brushes, which I was really, 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 really looking forward to. So I'm thrilled with that. Of course, they came sealed, and they have these little, these are cute, little, I guess, you know, brush protectors. I don't know. I've never seen them. Ooh, these are soft. This is pretty. This is ridged. So this is obviously... This is the bronzer brush. It says it right there on the side. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know. It might be backwards. But yeah. This is the bronzer brush. Very, very cute. Very pretty. Very soft. I like that. This next one is the complexion brush. Of course. This is what it looks like. It's really nice. It's angled. Two. I'm sorry. Life happens. It's cold out here in New York. Everybody's got the swine flu. It's disgusting. I just got over it after being on the damn Chris Jericho cruise. Let me tell you. Everybody and mama didn't do the washy-washy like they were supposed to supposed to twos. But apparently everybody in my office is still sick. Stress does, you know, affect the immune system. And I try not to be stressed out, but, you know. Last brush is the brightening brush. I am assuming that this would be used to apply the powders or 
concealers or even base brush for putting on primers and stuff like that. That's weird. Normally my BoxyCharm would come with a card and you've seen me open it. Usually I do these when they're already open because I, we, me, me, me and I like to be like, you know, but she gets the boxy looks now. She doesn't get the regular boxy charm like I do. Um, but yeah, it's a little weird that they didn't come with the little postcard that lists all this stuff. So I'm assuming that they just gave me whatever they had left because this is one of their variant boxes. Like I said, this was already in a prior box that I did with Elle. So hey. if you want to check that out. Speak of the devil, she's home. <laughs> that was that was her hubby, my brother, Lena. So he's home. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of a little uh disappointed that they didn't have the card in here. Normally they would, but again, I'm assuming they just kind of gave me whatever they had left and just said, "Here, take it." We don't want to hear your bitching anymore. So yeah, I'm very happy. Um. The one thing I like about BoxyCharm is that they don't always give you makeup makeup. They'll give you like, you know, skin products and stuff to try out, you know, case in point. Um, just didn't expect to get two different primers, but hey, it is what it is. But I definitely, definitely love the brushes. I was looking forward to these when I saw the variant box and I'm happy I got this. I wasn't really too fond of the iconic eyeshadow palette. Only because, as you can tell, I'm a big Jeffree Star stan. We stan the star. And most of my eye makeup I use is Jeffree Star. Like, I don't really use many other palettes unless I'm feeling frisky or, you know, I'm in a mood. But that's, you know, my personal preference. I mean, some people don't like Jeffree Star. They think he's a racist. Some people think he's problematic. And that's fine. But you gotta admit... Jeffrey has great products, and I stand by them 100%. Uh, whether I agree with, you know, whether he's... I mean, I personally feel he was genuine with his apology about the whole, like, dropping the N-bomb. But that's just me. I'm a very forgiving, loving person. And, you know, considering that, you know, Jeffrey's going through a rough patch. He's still kicking ass. Bloodless Palette's going to be coming up, like, next week or in the next two weeks. So, of course... Stay tuned for a unboxing on that because, of course, Miss Lexa always makes sure that she is, I guess, present for all the launches. The only launch I missed was the Christmas one, and that was really, really upsetting because I had the money there. The items were in the box, and when I put the payment through, it just didn't go through, and I lost them. But it, there was only, like, one exclusive item, which was, like, the peppermint frost thing, but... I made up for it with the Valentine's Day box, and I'm definitely going to be picking up the Bloodless palette. So with that being said, this has been a BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of February. This is your broke beauty guru, the ring queen, saying see you on the next video and keep a Gucci poochie, bitches. If I owned a TARDIS, part two. Hey guys, check out this idea. There's a redneck in Oklahoma that owns a tiger farm. He's thoroughly convinced that this other bitch named Carol Baskins is trying to kill him and try and take his business away. Go on. And get this, that bitch killed her husband and supposedly either fed him to her tigers or buried him under her septic tank. What else happens? This bitch Doc Antel? Oh, he's got a harem, a concubine of wives. Tiger wives. Bitch, I'm interested. Guess what, fuckers? We're hopping in this freaking big blue box right here. We're gonna find out. Bring your cameras, let's go. And call it Tiger King. Genius!